amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissuis, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. And as you can see, we're on the road again. La 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 la, on the road again. Uh, yes, we're doing a pickup. Now we are going to Lincoln. Lincoln in Lincolnshire in the UK, not Lincoln, Nebraska, or Lincoln, Ohio, or Lincoln, Lincoln, Pennsylvania, or Lincoln, Virginia, wherever there may be a Lincoln. We're in the British Lincoln, home of the um, Tom Hanks movie. What was it called? Something about. Uh, Oh, I don't know, anyway, that one, that's where they filmed a lot of the part, the part where Tom Hanks, or where the thing was thrown up into the air, and he caught it in his hand, that was filmed in Lincoln Cathedral. So we're not going to Lincoln Cathedral, but we're going to Lincoln, so you might see it in the background somewhere, or if I do a shot, but that's where we're heading off to, and this is a very unusual pickup. This is the second pickup in the entire history of the Hoovalux channel of the item that we are picking up today. Yes, the second one. So you probably may have a bit of a guess of what the item may be, but I have left no details of what the item actually is, as in serial number, etc., etc. So as you guys may know, may not know, that last weekend, the bank holiday weekend, I went up to a vac and washer meet in Derby. All those videos will be up very, very soon, so I can't wait for you guys to see them because uh, I think I've put, the, um, I've put it on Instagram and also a post on Facebook of uh, a collage of all the different machines and video titles that um, I did when I was there. So I came back on the Monday evening, bank holiday Monday evening, and on the Tuesday and Wednesday and even yesterday I spent the whole of those three days editing, sorting, captioning, uploading to YouTube, scheduling all the videos that I did for that weekend. So there are about six or seven in total that I have spaced over two weeks something to uh, give you guys to you know bite your teeth into so as you guys know i like very very different varied things hence the channel name tweak a couple of months ago to hoovalux restorations and more because it's not something that um, I have just suddenly thought, oh wow, yeah, I love doing these, wow, that's fantastic. It's, uh, it's a love of mine since, well, for a long, long time. I've always loved vacuum cleaners, gadgets, washing machines, tumble dryers, that kind of thing. So it's not something new, I'm jumping on the bandwagon. It's something that I've always liked, so, and it's fun to share with you guys because um, even though I primarily do vacuum cleaners and stuff and that is my you know my main thing I also have a passion that's a loud bike for washing machines tumble dryers and all different types of appliances and gadgets from gadgets around the home like the ring doorbell all the way down to my record player my record collection a bit of everything so um, I'm not really kind of like making the channel varied for specific it's just my, it's, those are all of my interests. And I know that some things don't appeal to some people and other things do, that's absolutely fine. You just come in and out and watch what you want, when you want. Everything is clearly on the playlist, so <coughs> you don't have to go searching and searching through stacks of videos. I do try and, um, put them into playlists for you guys so that you can find certain things easy. So back to 
the meat, um, there was a load of people there who were sort of like into washing machines and vacuum cleaners and all that kind of stuff. So it was a very, very varied weekend, which I really do like because, you know, I like a bit of everything. So um, I was discussing with the people, I was like, oh, it'd be really nice if I had kind of like a more vintage washing machine. So as you kind of guessed by now what we're going to be picking up, it is a washing machine. And I was like, you know, it'd be really nice to have something which was more kind of like vintage, but in full working order so that, you know, I wouldn't be afraid of it immediately leaking or exploding or the drum falling out or catching on fire. Because obviously this is something that's going to be inside the house, in the utility room. So, you know, I wouldn't want it flooding it and stuff. So, it was kind of, well, you know, I was discussing that, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice to look uh, for one of these machines. And then somebody, Austin, said, oh, I've got a so-and-so, so-and-so uh, for sale. It's been reconditioned, so it has a new drum in it. It's a couple of years old, but it has a, a new drum. It's not the same as the original drum, but it has a drum that fits it. Slightly different. I will ask him and tell you guys when I find out, because I can't remember. Um, but it's in really, really good condition. It's, you know, it hasn't been used that much, blah, blah, blah. Would you be interested in it? So long and short of it is, is that I bought it. So I have made some alterations to my utility room. I have put where the tumble dryer is, or was, that has now been put above it. The unit that was above there has been taken off the wall, because they were singular units. So that's been taken off the wall. And I've painted behind it and filled in the holes and everything. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even think that there was ever a unit there originally, to be honest. So I've done that yesterday. I bought the adapters so that I can have both machines plumbed in for the water and both machines plumbed in for the um, wastewater. So I bought the different trap and stuff. So that's all good. So today I am going to go and pick up this machine, which I am very, very excited about. It's a wonderful machine. There are not many videos on it on YouTube. And surprise, surprisingly, I know that uh, Chris and Phil from the Laundry Centre, on the Laundry Centre's channel, there's Chris and Phil, Phil is of Service Slimline, uh, he has a video of this machine, but there's literally only like three videos of this machine. So I was like, wow, that would be really, really good to do lots of videos on because it's a, it's a modern machine. There's nothing wrong with it. It can be used in conjunction with the LG and um, something different, some a, a brand that I never thought that I would have as a washing machine because I have the brand as a vacuum cleaner. But I don't have any other products of this brand, just vacuums. So I thought, yeah, that would be really nice. That's a bit more practical because it is different to the other one. It's a completely different system, completely different brand. And I thought it'd be something interesting to do for the um, weekend live vlogs and also um, tests on it because it'd be nice to put more full videos of this machine on YouTube because there's, like I said, there's really, really not much on it at all on YouTube. So I thought that would be interesting for you guys to see. So uh, at the point of making this, you've got one more part of the Silly Sid series of the Hoover Junior U1012, I think, <coughs> to come. So I hope you'll enjoy that series. Um, then I need to start, uh, uh, well I need to finish off, there's a few more bits I need to do to finish off the Rolls Repeat Winter. And then I will do a video with the Rolls Repeat and the Hot Point Supermatic Deluxe. I'll do a video of those two side by side in action, so that'll be, again, that'll be nice for you to see. 
because it is another one of my likes and interests. Anyway, I digress. So we're getting closer to Lincoln. Uh, we've gone down to single file traffic now. It, it goes from dual carriageways down to single, dual carriageway, single, and then dual carriageway, and then single into Lincoln, single lane. So yeah, that's about it really. I, I, I hope you enjoy the videos that I make with this machine because it's, it's just fun and exciting to be honest. I, I, I enjoy it. I hope it comes across that way. I'm loving what I'm doing. I'm loving going full time doing this for you guys and for myself. Um, it's a lot of fun and it's, it's a very exciting, fun part of my life. Being able to do something that I really do truly enjoy and I just hope that you know the channel will go up and up and, in, and increase and everything so especially money-wise and stuff. That definitely helps for me going full-time. I'm very, very lucky to be able to do this, to do the YouTube full-time. And I'm grateful to many people, including Hubby Lux. I'm grateful to everybody. And uh, it just means so much to me that I can have this opportunity to see how it goes. So we're coming onto the last leg into Lincoln on the dual garage way. And then we'll be heading into Lincoln. So I'm gonna have to pull over when I get closer to Lincoln. Because I know how to get to Lincoln and I have vague ideas of where Austin lives, but I've got the address for Satnav, so I will be following that to the house and picking it up. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So yeah, we'll see how things go. It's only been a couple of months and we're you know getting closer and closer to that 3,000 subscriber mark, which I am absolutely chuffed. And I've got that lovely pneumatic Henry or HVR, whatever it is, to unbox for you guys live for the 3,000 subscriber special. And then I will have an announcement for another milestone that I'm going to be setting the target for. And we'll see if we get there with another brand new inbox vacuum cleaner that we will unbox live once we reach that milestone. So it's all very exciting. Right, so I'm gonna let you see a little bit of scenery as I drive around. And um, once we get off the roundabout, I'm going to put the sat nav on so I know exactly where I'm going because I'm useless without the sat nav. How I manage without the sat nav, I remember, I digress, I remember when I first came up to not um, um, Leicestershire to meet Hubby Lux, to meet Scott for the first time, that's all I had was a A to Z book. There were no, there were no sort of like real sat navs available then. You know, they, I guess they might have been, but they were just possibly extremely expensive. And thank you very much. Mr. Truck for completely blocking my way around. Thank you very much. Uh, um, and I didn't have the sat nav. And it was a nightmare. I mean, it was an absolute scary nightmare. I remember going past Birmingham, and Birmingham is a nightmare for the roads, the motorways, because they just deviate off, and I just, I ended up going north 
I don't know what the hell I was doing. I ended up going north. Oh, it was it was extremely stressful. It took me. Uh, I left at about three o'clock, and I got to Scotts at midnight. <laughs> And uh, how I got there, I do not know. I still had major difficulties finding. I was on the phone to him, I don't know how many times. I don't know where I am, I don't know where I'm going, oh my god. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. So yes, I do like a sat-nav. It has helped us a lot. It's kind of like reduced sort of my... Um, like stress levels on traveling is kind of like now it's kind of like i'll go anywhere yeah what's the course code well i don't even know i do have a sat nav a tom tom that is under my seat but uh, nowadays it's just i use the phone i mean i can even ask the phone i can just say hey you are whatever his name is and uh you know can you direct me to so and so so and so and i'll be there so i have no kind of worries i've never had any major issues with using the sat nav and it, you know, if, it, if I ever did get to the point where it was kind of like it was going to direct me over a cliff, um, I wouldn't take it over a cliff. You know what I mean? Like some people do. You know, you've got to be careful. You've, got, you've still got to drive. You've still got to have your wits around you to what's about. Right, so anyways, I pulled over, so I'm going to have to use my sat-nav, get to Austin's and pick it up, and I'll see you guys in a minute. So there we go, my little whippersnappers. A few hours have passed by. Uh, spent some time in Austin's place and had a look at the vintage vacuums and the washing machines and stuff which was fantastic picked up the new washing machine which you can't see yet <laughs> and uh, yes yeah, so that's what we did it's in the car and I'm on my way home very very exciting I was given a full demonstration of it and uh, got to give it a go and use it and you know all the different options and how to look after it and the pump and all that malarkey as well so yeah that was all done and dusted drained the water out from it and now it's sitting in the bag ready for its new home so that's what we are going to do so see you back at home So my little whippersnappers, we are on the last leg of the journey, just coming up to my street. So I was just wondering if any of you guys had guessed what machine it is yet. I wonder. Hmm. Um, I do love it and it is going to make some really good videos, I hope. And you will see the first of these this Sunday coming. I will do another one of my live wash and vlog videos but this time we are going to use the new machine so I hope you will enjoy it. So I'm not going to reveal the machine entirety yet because I need to just give it a wipe over and plumb it in, give it a demo, you know, Give it a go, give it a try, see what it's like, do a load in it. And then we will be ready for a proper wash and vlog video coming on Sunday. So there we go guys, I hope you've enjoyed another little road trip with some scenery. I know that some of you enjoy watching the, uh, the videos when I do a little bit of scenery as well. So if not, you can always do fast forward if you don't like the scenery. So there we go, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, y'all.